All right, guys, we have Cordero here. We'll start off with Michael. Hey, CP, how are you? What are you doing? So before we get started with questions, uh, we would like to give you the PFWA Good Guy Award for the 2021 season for a player who basically their qualities and professional style help us do our jobs. And while we don't have a physical award for you at the moment, that will come later, which, you know, you can thank COVID a little bit for that. We wanted to give that to you because you were available every week and were just helpful to us on a day-to-day, week-to-week basis. And that's something that we, as a press corps, appreciate. No, I need my award now. <laughs> I don't get it now. I don't want it. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Thank you, no, I appreciate it, man. <laughs> <laughs> so to transition a little bit to football uh how when you look back at this year now now that's done how how do you look at what you accomplished this year and what you've done honestly man i just gotta you know thank coach smith and rags and you know dad's kitchens you know put me in a position you know to go out there to make plays you know trusting and believing me you know throughout the whole season and just giving me the opportunity and when you look, I know you, you know, you had the sign, I guess, at the end of the game yesterday. You had it on your fleets, too. Uh, it, have you really given much thought to what this offseason will look like for you and, and kind of what it would take for you to come back versus to explore free agency? Honestly, man, I have it, man. Um, I let my agent and the, and the GM let them handle their business out, man. I'm, I'm just go back to doing what I normally do, man. Training, getting ready for the season, man. No matter what team I'm on, you know, I'm giving my all. You know, if it's here or somewhere else, you know, I'm a, uh, just something I do. You know, I just go get ready. You know, just go ready to work my. Ass off. Do you do you feel like you showed you finally maybe you felt like you showed something different that you finally showed what what so many people maybe thought you could do for so long in this league this year? Honestly, I, I don't know, man. Like I say, when I'm, whenever my numbers call, I just I just go up and show up, man. You know, that's just something I do my whole career. My number's called, and I go out and just, just try to make a play for my team. I appreciate everything this year, Cordell. Thank you. Sir, I appreciate it, boss. d All right. I just hit it one time this time. So, um, Cordell, uh, yeah, congratulations on winning the PFWA Good Guy Award, too. And, um, you know, just moving forward, uh, I know there's some uncertainty but there's got to be a sense of gratification on how things, uh, or is there a sense of gratification on how, uh, you know, productive you were this season in this offense? Honestly, man, you know, I'll change all that just to get into the playoffs. You know, that, that's, that's what we fight for, man, go to the playoffs and the Super Bowl. Man. That's why we do this, what we do, man. You know, people don't want to end a season like we're doing right now, you know, talking to y'all on the Monday. So, you know, mm-hmm. and like I said, all that. I'll change it in order to make it to the playoffs with this team. Yeah, and, uh, you know, I know, uh, uh, you know, I've been around long enough to know money's important, but there are also usually other things uh, uh, that, that players look for when they are, are you know, in your situation. Uh, what are some of those other things that may be important to you and your family? Honestly, man, it, it, I haven't thought about anything like that. You know, my, my mama, she actually wants me to stay here because it's, it's only three hours away from the house. You know, they get to come up to all the home games and stuff like that. So, you know, she told me like two days ago she would love for me to be here. But, you know, the, the business side, man, you know, a lot of people don't see the, the business side of everything. So, you know, like I said, I'm going to just let my agent, you know, in the GM handle that. You know, I'm going to just sit back and, you know, just keep grinding. All right. Thank you. Josh? Hey, Faye, thank you. We appreciate your help this year. What's it been like playing with Matt Ryan? It's been fun, man. You know, playing with a Hall of Fame quarterback, man, is is awesome, man. You know, and Matt is Matt, man. And, you know, that guy, he, he never takes a day off, man. And hard working, no matter the score, no matter what the situation of the game is, you know, he can go out and play his ass off each and every week. What What separates him maybe beyond that from other guys that you've played with that's allowed him, you think, to be – successful for 14 years now i mean just the thing he do his work at it man he don't go unnoticed man you know as an older guy as me man i see everything man I, you know it might seem like i don't see a lot of stuff but you know i see a lot of shit that goes on on the field and 
you know, in the weight room, you know, everywhere. You know, I, I like to pay attention to a lot of things and I just love to see the work ethic, you know, the other players, you know, it just give me motivation, you know, to keep grinding. Frank Darby described Matt, seemed to be describing Matt as kind of a hard on the field, on the practice field. Is that accurate? Or is that just Frank's interpretation because he's a rookie? And if Frank man. said it's true. <laughs> What, what it what is Matt like on the practice field in terms of in, or in the meeting room? Uh, Matt is even Matt. more serious than we see. Nah, man. What you see with Matt is what you get. You know, he's not faking it. You know, he's not doing nothing extra for the media or attention. Matt is Matt, and he he him. Thank you, CP. Tori. Yeah, CP. Just kind of looking retrospectively the vision that you were sold on to come here, how does that compare to kind of what 2020 was, 2021 actually was for you? Honestly, I don't think anybody thought I had a season I had. You know, it, you know, everybody just, you know, look at me as a special teams player, you know, and that's what a lot of people probably thought, you know, when I signed here. But like I say, I just got to get hats off to those coaches, you know, to trust and believe in me and also, you know, signing me, you know, and, you know, just put me in a position to make plays. You know, we, it wasn't the season we wanted, but, you know, and we had some good and some bad, you know, and just got to just keep building off the good and just try to move forward to, uh, to next year. And kind of going off of that, I know something that Arthur has talked a lot about, he talked a lot about it last night, was the foundation and, and laying a foundation in, in year one here. And regardless of kind of, what your future is. I mean, looking back on this year, kind of what do you see that foundation being? Oh, it's, it'd be good, man, honestly, you know, and you'd be a fool to not, you know, want to play for art, you know, especially, you know, this year, you know, the, the just the foundation he's been building and the chemistry he's building with these guys in this locker room, you know, on and off the field. So, you know, a guy like me, like I said, you know, I, I'd be a fool not to want to play with art next year. You know, that's just, just the guy he is, man. He he's a great he's a great coach, you know, and a great guy. So, you know, we'll see what happens. Appreciate it, CP. Chris. What's up, CP? Um, yeah, yesterday Mike posted. Um, he posted something about how he essentially he was disappointed in the season he had. He felt like he let, you know, all of y'all down. Have you talked to him about his season, or if you haven't, what have you thought about? him this season honestly i ain't see anything he posted man but last night you know i was having a little fun man the season over you know me <laughs> i'm gonna enjoy myself but you know, mike man mike is a great guy man he he's just trying to compare everything to his season last year he had in carolina man it is it's hard to you know top your your season when you have a, a great year you know and a lot of people expect you to do great things but man it's happens man you, you can't always have a good year a, a great game anything like that and you know you might just need to might need to take a long vacation and just forget about everything happening this year and just enjoy yourself man because football man it, it it can get to you man a lot of people let football get to you too much but you know it's something we've been doing our whole life man you you can't even get it it's, it's still a kid's game man you just gotta enjoy that moment and don't let it get to you because it, it it can and what's what's your off season plan? Man, I'm finna take the kids to Disney, then you know, enjoy myself and back in the gym. Man, I'm I'm about to be 31, man. I I can't be taking too much time off, man. These little young kids out here running around on me all day, man. So I can't I can't take too much time off and let these look these little players think they got the upper hand on me. And and I know you said earlier, I think when when Tori asked you a question or someone asked you, you said uh I don't think anyone expected me to have the, the season that I had. Did you expect that you would have this season? Honestly, every year I expect to, you know, to have a great season. That's just the mindset I had. You know, like I said, I'm, I'm different from a lot of people in this league, man. You know, I go in thinking, you know, I'm, I can do this. You know, like I say, I, I can do that. I can do this. Like, that's just, that's just the mindset I bring in. You know, and I would never let nobody steal my joy, you know, my time and my happiness, man, because I, I love this game so much. And, you know, I'm going to enjoy every moment of it. Thanks. Charles? You uh, you just mentioned your, your age. Um, you had um, six games, I believe, with double-digit carries, but but none in the last three. And 
and your four yesterday matched your your season low. I'm wondering, did the first year being a running back grind affect you physically at all? And do you have any other observations on on how that flow went for you this season? And does it give you any concerns about your your possible role next year? Honestly, man, whatever they, whenever my numbers call, I'm gonna go out there and, and carry the load. It doesn't it doesn't matter week one or week 18. You know, I, uh, that's just the player. I, I love I love this game, man. You know, no matter how much you know, I get thrown in, I can handle anything. So you had to talk to Coach Art. You know that. You know, I didn't even know I only had four carries. That's kind of that's kind of sick. <laughs> I should have had 24 carries, but it is what it is, man. You know, I'm I'm not complaining, man. You know. And, Stuff comes at you, man, and just got to know how to handle it. You get 24 carries to four carries. And I'm, I'm always just going out there with my head high and just, just grind it. But, but this being your first season with RB beside your name, um, the physical grind, was it any different for you than before? No, nah, man. I'm a different beast out there on that football field, man. Like I say, no matter how many carries I get, it, it, it's the physical part. It, it just comes with the territory, man. I, I love it. Scott? Hey, um, I was just curious about like whether it was in the spring or or in training camp or even once the the regular season got uh, got going, where where, where you kind of realized, hey, I have a chance to do something special here, or 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 that this role will finally allow me to really thrive. Like, was there any moment where like where you realized that 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 maybe this could be a special season? Honestly, not really. I mean, football is football. Like I say, people let it get to them too much. But, you know, like I said, I just got to thank, you know, the coaches, you know, just giving me a chance, you know, because I ain't playing any preseason, so I couldn't really say in camp or anything like that. I, I could be special. So, you know, they, they trusted me not playing me a preseason game. You know, they gave me an opportunity the whole season go out and make plays. Did you have a, a a favorite moment, favorite play over the course of the year? You had quite a few good ones. Probably the Saints game, week eight, whatever week that was. Had a good couple good catches that that week. It was fun. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, sir. Awesome. Thanks, CP. Thanks, yes. everybody. Appreciate y'all.